So welcome everybody, let's get going and we'll start our presentation and start sharing about Bricado product knowledge. This is a Bricado Beautiful Business Network webinar, um, one of the webinars that we do every couple of every month and we've specifically focused this webinar on product knowledge. Uh, learning about the products that we use and how we use them and why we use them is very important in helping us within the salon to create our business atmosphere and to create our credibility. Selecting Bricado products indicates that you've identified yourself as a salon uh, interested in working with a designer line. We look at Bricado as a designer line because all of our products are crafted by Sam Bricado and it certainly is an affordable luxury for anyone in any situation. The opportunity to use designer hair care to increase and, and help them become more engaged with fashion and with that little bit of luxury is really a great thing. And it's a wonderful thing that can be avail made available to all of our guests within the salon. Sam Bricado is our um, mentor and our leader. Sam is an award-winning hairdresser and business leader. He designs each of our products and serves as the creative director here at Bricado, as well as our president. And Sam currently also owns a salon in New York City. So I, I received an email a few weeks ago asking if our products were tested on animals. And I had to kind of smile and say, no, they're tested on real life people in New York and uh, in salons all over. So we test on, on real hairdressers, I guess, more than anyone. The real key to creating beauty and creating things within our salon is to help in the transformation process. And liquid tools, specifically styling tools, are where we really start to transform the fiber that we're working with. We start to change the way the hair behaves, the way the hair feels, and we can take that and help transform it into something that's truly extraordinary, something beyond um, what the guest expected. Today's focus, as we said, is on styling and finishing products. These are products that are used on either damp or dry hair to create the finished look and the finished style. Some of the things that make Bricado styling and finishing products unique is that we base our resins and our holding systems on uh, plants and try to create extreme hold using those resources. One of the things that that does is that enables our products to be completely water soluble. All Bricado products rinse cleanly from the hair just with water before you even need to add shampoo. The water solubility also connects with the blendability of our products. And after we talk about each individual product for a minute, we're gonna talk about blending and how blending works to help you grow your business and helps you customize the tools that you provide for your clients and your guests as they come to the salon. We're also going to discuss blending and layering and how those effects are different, how working with layering products in the hair also creates unique finishes and unique results. On the back of most Bricado styling products, you will find a style level chart. The style level chart identifies the qualities of that individual product. Um, qualities such as hold, shine, volume, smoothing, and curl. In each of those boxes, you'll find an L, an M, or an H. Now, not necessarily in every box on every product, but we'll, we'll point out the styling level chart as we go through the products. It's interesting to note that we identify the styling level chart to help suggest to the consumer the way the product is supposed to be performed and what they can expect from this product and how it can assist them and help them. The styling level charts on the back of each, uh, of each container, on the, of each product on the, on the back, look for it on the bottom on the back and it will help. The first product that we're going to talk about today is volumizing tonic. Up on the right hand corner of the picture, you'll see the styling level chart um, for volumizing tonic, medium hold, medium shine, and high volume. This will help you understand how volumizing tonic works within the hair. It's designed to create volume and thickness, and it will create lift on fine or limp hair. It's a spray gel for the finest types of hair. Volumizing tonic revitalizes perm and natural curl because it helps the hair add bulk and body to itself. When you use volumizing tonic, it equalizes the porosity in the hair for consistent results. Sometimes we'll use volumizing tonic as a pre-styling product um, to make sure that the porosity is equalized and give the hair just a very light hold. You can use volumizing tonic on damp hair or dry hair. It's thermal active, which means if you add heat, the 
hold factor will be enhanced and the strength will be will be amped up. It does contain sunscreens and it has the color safe seal. Of all of our styling sprays or hairsprays, volumizing tonic is the very lightest spray that we have. Men with very fine hair enjoy it as a finishing spray. Maybe on children or shorter fine hair, it might be a fit, good finishing spray as well. Most of the time we use it on damp hair and use it to style and to create fullness and volume. Texture cream is the next styling product. Texture cream is, has been around for many years and it's really a great tool to add body and texture to the hair. Texture cream most often is applied to damp hair and it's used to scrunch curl and create texture within the hair. On finer hair types, texture cream will help create bulk and create fullness and hold in the hair. It eliminates frizziness in curly hair and it does have protein for strength and protection. One of the things that you'll notice about texture cream is even though it has a low level of shine and a low level of hold, it still gives a, gives a crunchiness or a texture to the hair as it dries. Some of the products we talked about in the previous section in part one, like Curl Karma, leave no texture or feel to the hair. The texture cream does leave a low amount of feel and texture to the hair, and it's also um, a tool that can be used to smooth the hair or to eliminate curl if you use a blow dryer or use a curling iron. Blonde Swell Fat Hair Cream is the product that inspired the Swell Volume line of clay-based volumizing products. Blonde Swell Fat Hair Cream, as you see by the gold bar, was originally part of our blonde line and contains the blonde enrichment complex, which contains vitamin D, vitamin E, and vitamin C to nourish the hair. Chinese white clay helps expand the hair and create thickness in the hair. The thing that I like Blonde Swell the most for is using on fine hair that you want to round brush. Usually, if you have fine hair and you go at fine hair with a round brush, it's difficult to get tension uh, in the hair that helps create the fullness and the texture that you're looking for. A little bit of Blonde Swell cream in fine hair gives you the bite or the drag that you need on a round brush. So you can use a boar bristle round brush on the finest hair and create smooth, voluminous styles that really look modern um, and, and different than you could create without a product like this. So it creates fullness. Clay plus heat equals fat hair, and that's just what Blonde Swell does. Root Fix is a specific mousse designed for creating volume and fullness at the scalp of the hair. If you take the cap off or if you look past the cap, you can see a little teeny nozzle sticking out of the sprayer. And that nozzle gives a, a shot of, of light foaming spray right to the scalp or the root of the hair. It gives a medium amount of hold with super high shine, and it's designed to create a full voluminous head with lots and lots of volume. Rufix can be used on wet or dry hair. On wet hair, you might use it over the entire head to help create fullness. On dry hair, you may use it in specific spots, like right in the crown, as a replacement for backcombing, if you will. The delivery system helps isolate the volume and helps you put it right where you need it. It allows you to spray it right where the volume and the hold are needed. It's water soluble, of course, and it does have the color safe seal. Blonde Bombshell is our first um, flat iron spray or blow dry spray. It was designed originally to create bright fullness in finer hair texture and to really create a smooth blonde bombshell, Marilyn Monroe, Madonna, um, Lady Gaga soft curl on bleached hair create a real bright, shiny result. The thing that you discover when you work with Blonde Bombshell is that it has a protein factor and an enrichment factor that strengthens and builds the hair. So even on the finest hair or the most color treated hair, Bombshell will add volume with the addition of heat. It will also protect the hair from the heat or the elements that you're working with. Um, bombshell is very brushable and stylable. It has a, a lightweight hold, so it doesn't feel really strong and really, really crispy in the hair. Mousse volumizing foam is our traditional mousse. Uh, mousse is a volumizing tool that's used to create fullness and volume in the hair. The way I think of mousse is that mousse creates backcombing without the backcombing. Always look at the delivery of a styling product to help you determine how that product should be used. A foam styling product is about creating big, full hair, big, full volume. Sometimes I see somebody grab a can of mousse and they work it through the hair and then they comb the hair sleekly into place and then start to blow dry it 
with a round brush and I just have to smile, that's probably not the best use for mousse. Mousse is about making big and full, and yet sleek styles could be created, but there's other products that create sleek a little bit better. Mousse, as it says on the volumize on the style chart, is for high volume. Now, there's a couple different kinds of mousse in, in just concept. Our mousse is an extremely lotiony, thick, creamy mousse. Some mousses are a little bit drier. You'll find when you use mousse volumizing foam that it's very difficult to break down the foam element. You can work it right into the hair and keep working it and helping it to create thick fullness in the hair. It contains panthenol that helps strengthen the hair and it is alcohol free, which means that it gives you the nicest quality styling hold, helps hold everything in place, but the alcohol factor can sometimes through evaporation um, make the hair feel dry and make the hair a little bit dull. So alcohol free is a great thing to find in a holding mousse. Hold on is our traditional styling gel. Hold on styling gel is designed to be exceptionally shiny and to give volume and shine in all hair types. Now hold on gel is the opposite of mousse. It's designed for creating smoother, sleeker styles or sculpted styles. You can sculpt the hair with hold on and let it air dry or you can use it to blow dry and style the hair. One of my favorite ways to use hold on is as a cutting lotion. After I shampoo and condition the hair, I put a little bit of saturation in the hair and then I put some hold on in my hands and work hold on all the way through the hair. As you comb and work, it works like a liquid clip, if you will. Partings are straight and sharp. Tension is very easy to achieve. And it also helps hold the hair out of your way while you're working. As you finish and get closer to the finish of the hairstyle, the hold on that's been worked into the hair during the haircut starts to build up the bulk of the hair and starts to really finish in its final form. So you get to see your final styled form and shape start to take place uh, right as you're finishing the cut, saving time by picking up the blow dryer and finishing the style quickly. You don't have to dampen the hair again to add styling products. Hold on is extremely versatile. We even use it dry. If you put a little bit of hold on on your hands and just wait a couple of minutes, it will thicken up. And then you can go in and detail little pieces around the sides or around the nape of the neck. It's an extremely versatile product. And as we talked about our products in the previous, uh, in the previous section, part one, Hold On is one of our original five products. So it is the first styling product that's one of the original five products that we were that, that Sam created for us. Back to the Beach is a texturizing mist. One of the most common products on the market now that are doing very, very well are, are really salt sprays is basically what they're based on. And it's the idea that we can make your hair look roughed and ruffled and fluffy and full. It gives you great volume. It's very similar to the texture you would achieve after spending a day at the beach. The only difference is your hair can be clean and fresh and you can have that texture. It creates wild, sexy, windswept looks. Uh, we use Back to the Beach on dry hair or on damp hair. It does have UV protection to help protect the hair from the sun and it contains sun, sunflower seed extract, which offers conditioning and sunscreen benefits. So you do get benefits from Back to the Beach rather than just sitting out in the sun. It's great to use on dry hair as a redesigner. If you've got your hair all styled for the day, and you want to make a change in the look or a change in the way you're wearing the hair, then spray back to the beach on the hair and just ruffle the hair up and create some new texture and some new direction. It's a way of texturizing the hair and making it feel a little bit different, making it have a little bit different change in shape. Another client that usually loves back to the beach are guys. Men love back to the beach because it gives them a bulkiness and a fullness that helps volume, especially on a little bit finer hair. So they like that look, and they also like the, the small amount of control that Back to the Beach gives their hair. Gloss pomade is our traditional pomade. It is water-soluble. Most pomades are not. Gloss pomade gives you high shine with a light amount of hold. It adds manageability, but doesn't give any weight. One of the things about pomades in general is they don't dry in the hair. You can use gloss pomade on damp hair or dry hair. Most often I find myself using gloss pomade just on dry hair, many times just on the tips and the ends where you see frizzies or flyaways or ends that don't look perfectly shiny and perfectly healthy. It helps make the hair soft, but there's still movement and separation. And because it's water soluble, it becomes one of the tools that we enjoy blending with when we get to blending a little bit later. Carved texture icing is a firmer hold than gloss pomade. Carve allows you to flexibly style the hair. Now, di different than a gel, Carve does not dry. 
so you can keep sculpting or posing the hair during the day. A, a word that I like to use when talking about carve is that you pose and place the hair. So when you're working with mohawks or bangs or sleek sides, or you're working with a, a, uh, a piece of the hair, such as a ringlet or a curl or a side piece that needs to flow and move and, and have texture to it, then carve might be the product that you choose. Most of the time we apply carve to dry hair to create the most texturized result or apply it to damp hair and then blow dry for something that's a little bit more sleek and a little bit more conservative. You can mold and control the hair. You can also use it to sleek and shine. What I usually do with carve is I put a little bit of carve in the heel of my hand and then I dip my fingers into the heels of my hand and then add carve with your fingertips. You can keep adding and adding and adding carve in little bits and little pieces so that they'll help, help hold the hair and give you the direction that you're looking. Carve is based, um, similar to the next product we're gonna talk about, Carve is based on carnauba wax. Carnauba wax is unique because it's water soluble. You can rinse it out of the hair, but it behaves like a wax. It's pliable, it's shiny, and it creates a, diff a great texture within the hair. Shatter, Chaos Paste, is about chaotic hair design. Now, a little bit different than Carve, Shatter is a much firmer result, and shatter will dry into the hair and give you that hold and that separation. One of the things you'll find with shatter is a little bit less shine. Carve can stay really shiny. Shatter is a little bit less shine, and it gives you more density, um, more of a frenzied finish look. Uh, the carnauba wax, again, is water soluble, and so it allows you to work on hair that's damp and completely rinse it from the hair when you're finished or work on hair that's dry. And if you apply shatter to dry hair, it can be a very firm paste that you can use to mold and to shape and to direct the hair. Remembering that shatter is going to dry into the hair and give you a finish rather than carve, which stays the same. After you've applied carve, it doesn't change from the way it looks and the texture that you feel as it proceeds through the day. Glow Glisten Spray is, an, is a shine spray that's designed initially for the finest hair, for the finest hair texture. This shine result is so light that it lasts, but it doesn't break down the holding factor of styling products. It doesn't change the strength of the um, gel or the hairspray that's being used, and the shine lasts for hours and hours. Glow Glisten is not just a shiner, but it also nourishes and protects the hair. It contains sunscreens, jojoba oil. You can spray glow on your hair uh, and on your skin. You can use it to gloss and, and shine any style. One of the things that we've done in demonstrating glow is we walk into a salon and spray it onto people's hair who weren't planning on using it. And usually when you talk to someone, especially someone with finer hair, uh, you spray glow on their hair, they're all concerned about their hair going flat or their hair being heavy. We use glow as a finishing shot or a shine product on damp hair while we're creating the style the shine will last, but it does not add weight to the hair and it doesn't break down the styling results. Shine Drops is our traditional shine serum. It's a smoothing serum that creates great shine and great enhancement. It can be used on the hair or the body. Um, usually we apply a small amount to wet or dry hair and then add a little bit more and a little bit more. Shine Drops is designed to create lustrous, shiny hair. As a, as a first tool on over curly hair or coarse hair that I'm blowing out, I'll always put shine drops into the hair and then work with the blow dry. Then curl and erupted may be needed or other products might help get that sleek look. But shine drops is the great place to start. It contains sunscreens and vitamin E for protection. It's water soluble and it does have a color safe seal. Oftentimes people ask us the difference between shine drops and actives restorative serum. Well, the thing that's different primarily is actives has many more nourishing ingredients and actives is a much thinner uh, product to begin with. It's much lighter to begin with. Shine Drops is, is a product that might be chosen for someone with heavier hair or coarser hair. Um, it has just a little bit of thickness to it. So when you put it in your hand, it's got some texture to it that you can piece through the hair and it can give you a little bit of, of residual feel and result. Where Actives feels completely weightless, completely uh, dissipates into the hair, and you don't see or feel the result quite the same amount. And both of them can be blended or used with other products. Our shimmer sprays, there are three shimmer sprays, gold, platinum, and pearlescent. Our shimmer sprays are designed to be fun. 
the big deal with shimmer is just to have a good time. Um, they give a sparkly glow and sparkle to any hair, to the skin, anywhere you spray them. We have people that use them for horse shows, people that spray them on their puppies, people that use them on their on their arms and their decolletage, spray them on a little black dress, on on tablecloths at a wedding, on wedding announcements. There's all kinds of things that we've heard people use shimmer spray for. The big deal is that shimmer sprays need to be shaken every single time you use them. They need to be shaken before each use and continue to shake them while you spray. The nature of the beast, very frankly, is these are little teeny tiny pieces of mica glitter. And when you spray mica glitter through a hairspray sprayer, there's a possibility it can clog. To prevent that clogging, shake it all the time and shake it thoroughly. And if you keep shaking it, it's very easy to use the entire bottle without having the, the sprayer, having a problem with the sprayer. Just keep shaking and shaking and shaking. It adds glitz and glamor, they're fun. It's designed to be layered over any styling tool. The one thing you wanna remember is that you wanna hit it with a shot of hairspray, either our non-aerosol prefix or power fix or our aerosol movable hold or maximum hold before you send the guest out. The shimmer spray product itself has no hold whatsoever. All it has is the little flex of sparkle that it adds to the style. So if you don't finish it with hairspray, then the shimmer, the, the little shimmer bits will be falling um, down onto their shoulders, onto their arms. And I have suits that you can tell I've been to a hair show because they've got shimmer spray all over them um, from spraying and having fun with it. But it's just fun. Make sure again, after you finish somebody with shimmer spray, just put a quick shot of hairspray over the top and that will help hold everything into place and they'll continue to have a good time with it. The big deal is keep it light and keep shaking that bottle to make sure that you get the shimmer out. We have four different hairsprays that we're going to talk about. The first hairspray is Freefix. Freefix is a non-aerosol pump hairspray and it's designed to be a working hairspray. A working hairspray is a tool that you use for the evolution of the hairstyle. You spray a working hairspray in and then you continue to style and move and work with the hair. As many of you may have heard me say, Sam Bricotto's a hairdresser and I'm a hairdresser. Michelle's a hairdresser. There's a lot of us in our company. And one of the things that you'll learn about hairdressers is we like to touch hair. We like to move hair. We like to move it around. We like it to be restylable and touchable. So Freefix is the perfect hair spray for somebody who is working on a style and likes to spray and restyle and push the hair around and brush it again and make it change. If you have people, clients that are excited about hairspray and they like having hairspray in their purse, or they like spraying their hair with hairspray before they leave the house and then after they get back or if they're in the middle of the day, Freefix is a great product for them because it also contains protein. It, condition, it conditions, moisturizes, and improves the shine of the hair. Your hair actually gets healthier when you use Freefix. So it's not a firm hold, but they can keep using it over and over and over and have great results without getting too much hairspray or getting too much buildup or, or getting their hair to a stiff place where it's not workable. Movable hold hairspray is our soft holding movable aerosol hairspray. When we first created movable hold, we talked about calling it Freefix aerosol. It does, it's designed to perform very, very similar to Freefix non-aerosol hairspray. Movable hold is very workable and brushable. You can mist it on very, very lightly and still go back and repose the hair and comb through the hair. You can spray it on damp or dry hair. On damp hair, it works as a very light type spray gel product. And on dry hair, it helps you start to hold your finished style in place. Now, the primary difference between an aerosol hairspray and a non-aerosol hairspray is the way the mist works. And because the mist is different, the formulation ends up being different. We have a micro spray on our aerosol hairsprays that's designed to be, create an extremely fine mist that penetrates down into the hairstyle. So all of the style is held together in a very light, in a very light way. All non-aerosol hairsprays are a little bit wetter and the spray mist is a little bit rougher. So being a heavier spray, it tends to sit on the outside of the hairstyle rather than going into the hairstyle and really working inside. That's why when you use PowerFix, if you spray PowerFix on the surface of the hairstyle, you can create a really strong, firm hold. PowerFix is our strong holding, firm holding, non-aerosol hairspray. It's designed to be used on wet or dry hair. It can be an extremely strong um, 
spray gel, if you spray it on, on dry hair and then hit it with a flat iron or spray it on wet hair and then blow dry, you can create extreme hold using power fix. It does have a firm hold, but it's workable. If you layer power fix two or three times and apply heat, you can get a real solid rock hard hold that really gives you a lockdown of the hairstyle and where you are. But you'll still be able to brush it. And once you brush it, the hair has memory. The shape of the style is remembered. You can push the hair back in and create a different type of a style or a different shape. A wave that you spray into place with PowerFix will still be there after you brush through the hair. PowerFix is water soluble. It will rinse from the hair and it does contain color safe protection ingredients that help protect the color. Our top selling product, and it just makes me smile because it really is true for almost every hair care brand we know. Our top selling product is Maximum Hold Hairspray. Max Hold Hairspray is our firm holding aerosol spray. It creates extra body and long lasting style. The hair is super shiny. The fragrance is really fresh and everybody enjoys that. And again, you can layer Max Hold in to get the most amount of control. Like all aerosol hairsprays, it dries instantly, and that's one of the greatest benefits that we like about aerosols, is they dry instantly in the hair, which allows you to keep working with the hair. Again, it's a firm hold, so once you start working with maximum hold hairspray, you won't be moving the hair around for long. Maximum hold and movable hold, especially when you're doing wedding or photography or updos, start with movable hold hairspray to build the style into the hair, and then when you get to the last few uh, sections of the last few minutes, grab the maximum hold style to lock the style into the hair. It's really common to use both hairsprays um, at the same time on the same client because of the results are designed to be synergis synergistic, designed for them to work together to get the best possible results. So those are the, are the styling products that are currently available in the Bricado product line. Some of the styling products you may want to review from the previous webinar are Versa, Versafix and, and Fire and Ice from the Vibra Color line, Curl Interrupted and Curl Karma, Actives, Hot Shapes, and Blowout from Cloud9. Those are styling products as well, but because they have specific benefits to each of the regimens they've been made part of, they were found in the previous webinar. So you're going to want to go back and check out part one and get the information about those products as well. Now, as Sam has trained us, one of his biggest goals and one of the things that he strives to do and that we work to do is to help create hairdressers as the best versions of themselves. One of the ways that we do that is by setting you free, so to speak. And one of the ways of becoming the best version of yourself is to really use your own creativity and develop the ability to work with products in such a way that you can create products and create effects with products that do exactly what you want them to do and perform exactly like you expect them to. And that's one of the reasons that Bricado Blending first came into existence. Bricado Blending came into existence so that each hairdresser could show their individuality and their uniqueness. Blending breaks down the generic barrier of a product and it makes the product, turns the product from being Sam Bricado's product into being your personal product something that you're using to create the effect you've create, you've you've desired. Blending eliminates diversion as an issue in the industry because what blending does is it says the only way to get your products is to get them from my salon because I custom create products for you. And we'll talk about how to do that. We put the products together in such a way that you get a different result. Blending increases the prestige of professionalism in the salon. It increases that by making each individual stylist the expert in product usage. Now to begin to blend, first of all, you have to really understand what each of the individual products do, and then you can start working on how do I use those products together to create the ultimate result. Blending expands the number of products exponentially. We can keep go on and on and on. In fact, when we start talking about a new product or the need for a new product, we start always oh, start out the discussion at Bricado by talking about well, can we create a blend that will have that effect or do we really need to create a new product? Blending expands the products laterally so that when you have 10 products on the shelf, you can easily make them into 20 or 30 different options by creating something new and something different. Blending enhances the gross margin for the salon because the ability to sell a blended product to a consumer gives them something unique and something different and creates a huge amount of loyalty to the salon. The guest is bonded to the salon, much like they're bonded with a color or a perm. 
what helps a what helps a client connect with the salon is a color formula that is unique or a texture procedure that they, they've never seen anywhere else. That unique color formula is the proprietary uh, is proprietarily owned by the salon. So the same thing happens when you create a, new, a unique product for your guests and send them home. It shows each guest that they're really individual and that you see them as individual people. Everybody doesn't go home with the same blend. Everybody doesn't go home with the same product. It allows you to step into personalization according to the hair texture and the hair design. Coarse hair has different needs than fine hair and curly hair has different needs than smooth hair. But likewise, shorter hair or geometrically designed hair has different needs than hair that has, that has um, traditional layered haircuts or, or a different type of design. So creating a product that works for a specific design is just as important as creating a product that works for a specific hair texture. Blending allows you to display products in a different way. And it allows you to create new interest for the guests as they come to the salon and they see what's going on. Within our industry, there have been a couple of different concepts that various people have introduced. And so I want to talk about both of them. There's a difference between custom blending a product and layering products in the hair. What blending does is blending forms new products. When we blend a product, they interact equally and the characteristics that develop are brand new and different. When we say blending, what we mean is either putting products in the palm of your hand and emulsifying them together before putting them on the hair, or actually putting the products in an empty bottle and mixing them up in the salon and sending them home as a finished blend for your guests to take home and use. Layering products is a little bit different. When you layer products into the hair, each product responds to the situation that it finds. The first product that goes into the hair touches on porosity and texture. The first product interacts with the porosity and texture that it finds in the hair. The next product reacts with the product that's on top of it. The next product reacts with the product that's on top of that. Products that are layered into the hair each interact with the next one and each product maintains its own characteristics or its own personality. The products as they are built into the hair allow remain the same. They each are influenced, but they don't change into something that's, that's really different. Here's some guidelines to help you with blending. Now on the left hand side of the page, you see a photo of our color refresher bottle. And right now, this is the bottle that we'd suggest that you use if you're going to custom blend a product. If you're going to mix products together in the bottle, you're going to send them home with the guest. If I'm going to mix products in the bottle, the first thing I do is I put the lightest product in the bottle first, then add each of the products, and then shake it up and blend it together. If you have thick products, especially if you're blending, um, blending something with hold on, you're blending Curl Interrupted or Curl Karma, Texture Cream, Gloss Pomade. One of the things that we've done is I, I have a big jar of marbles that sit on my station and I take a little marble or a glass pebble that I get at the craft store and just drop it in the bottle so you have an agitator to help you blend the product together a little bit better. You can strengthen the conditioning power of any blend that you create with Constructor. Now remember, if you add Constructor to your blend, it needs to be a product that's rinsed out of the hair. So Constructor isn't something that I would add to a styling product, but I could add Constructor to a shampoo, to a conditioner, to a treatment, and we'll talk about different blends that you can try. When creating a blending area in your salon, be sure to keep sanitation in mind. Sanitation of the bottles need to be clean. The area that you're working needs to be clean and sanitary because you're actually filling products. So you need to make sure that you're careful and you're cautious in how you do that. Our recommendation is that if blending is something that makes sense to you, you put a blending area together in the salon. Within the world, last time we talked about color refresher blending, you can start with color refreshers and then you can expand into the idea of creating styling products or other shampoos and other conditioners within that blending area. One of the products that's really fun to add to any blend is Glow Glisten because it will add shine and it will add add gloss to the product. It also will help the products mix together very, very easily. Um, as a maximum, however, we, you don't need more than 10 pumps of Glow Glisten out of the little hairspray pump. 
if you start to put in more than 10 pumps, the product will lose its holdability. It'll start to become soft and you'll change the nature of what you're doing. But adding you know, four or five pumps of Go Glisten to almost any blend will enhance its blendability and make it really easy to work with and it will give you a shine factor as well. Remember when you're blending to keep records, it's just like a perm or a hair color formula. Make sure that you answer them and let them know that you have records, that you do keep a record of what you've blended for them and how they're to use it. Use common sense when you blend products together. Um, we don't usually put hold on in a shampoo. We don't usually put conditioner with hairspray. They will blend together, um, but the end result, not sure what that's going to do and how that's going to benefit the guest. For cost reduction, blend from the largest size possible. If you're blending shampoos or working with constructor, working with hold on, they're all available in liter sizes that will help you decrease the cost of each individual blend rather than blending from retail sizes. And the last thing, of course, is to have fun and have a good time with blending. While we're currently blending in the color refresher bottle, I would fill out the front of the bottle this way, uniquely created by, put Gary on it. It was blended for, and then under blended for, I would write styling or shampoo or deep conditioner um, so that the guest remembers, here's what this product is used for. So they know how to use that. Um, you may want to put a line through color refresher, but I think that's okay. Just make sure that you let them know on the blended line on the front of the bottle what you created this product to do for them. And then, of course, record the date that you blend a product. Whenever you custom blend products together, they have a shelf life. The shelf life is changed and decreased. So the life of the product will be anywhere from three to six months at the most. So it's important to put a date on each blend as you create a blend. So one other thing you want to have at your blending station or your blending table is a Sharpie that you can write on the blending bottles with. Now, when you've completed a blend, it's important that you charge the guest for the, for the service, not just for the product that they're containing. Custom blends are sold at a prestige price point. So based on a five ounce bottle, our recommendation is that a blended shampoo would sell for $14, a blended conditioner for $16, a blended treatment for $20, and a blended styling aid for $24. Again here I noted, note the category of the product on the bottle. This is your shampoo. This is your, your conditioner. This is your, this is your gel or this is your styling cream so that the guest understands what to do with it. My recommendation would be to set a fixed price. Any shampoo blend you create is $14. Any conditioning blend you create is $16. Any treatment you blend is $20. And any styling aid you blend is $24. Does that make sense? Um, rather than having the price change every single time you create a new blend. Now, there are a couple of other options to blending product besides using the five ounce bottle. One of the things that you can do is you can easily add an ounce of constructor to any of your shampoos by using the original shampoo bottle and pouring off a small amount of shampoo into your back bar leader. So if I have a bottle of Cloud9 shampoo that I want to add one ounce of constructor to, I would take the Cloud9 shampoo to the back bar and pour off one ounce of Cloud9 shampoo into my leader at the back bar so the shampoo gets used. And then I would add one ounce of constructor to the Cloud9 shampoo bottle and shake that up. Make sure when you do that, you make a notation on the outside of the bottle with your Sharpie with constructor. And then also add a charge to the cost of that, of that um, addition if you've added constructor to a shampoo. Or if you've added, um, for example, you could add Glow Glisten to PowerFix. Um, if you're using, or you could mix PowerFix and Hot Shapes and keep them in the original spray bottle. If you're doing that, just make sure that there's an upcharge. A recommended charge would be $5 more than the retail price of the product for customizing that product for the guest so they can take that home. Now, the top 10 blends that we've used over the years are really, really fun. Um, specifically, uh, the, number, the blend that we seem to do the most often is number one, peppermint scrub shampoo and splash shampoo. This is mixed 50-50. We call it sports shampoo. So four ounces of peppermint, if you're working in a 10-ounce bottle, regular shampoo bottle, five ounces of peppermint scrub shampoo and five ounces of splash shampoo. Shake that up. The, the fragrance changes and it smells almost like bubble gum. This was the favorite shampoo at the high school football team when my kids were in school. They loved it when we sent down a bottle of sports shampoo because it, they used it as a body scrub. It smelled different, it smelled great. 
So that's that's one of the, the first top 10 blend. Number two is adding constructor to any shampoo. Now remember, you can mix constructor with the shampoo in a blending bottle, or you can mix constructor with shampoo just in the regular shampoo bottle. Number three is saturation and hold on. We mix saturation and hold on in any ratio. Um, one part of saturation and two parts of hold on is a is a pretty firm holding glaze. One, two parts of hold on, two parts of saturation to one part of hold, hold on, yeah. Two parts of saturation to one part of hold on is a really soft, lightweight glaze for the hair. Hold on, of course, we know is a firm holding gel. Saturation is a lightweight moisturizing leave-in conditioner. If you mix saturation and hold on half and half, one part of saturation to one part of hold on, the finish result and the way that it works in the hair will be identical to the to mousse volumizing foam. In fact, that was the benchmark that we tested mousse foam against when it was being created, is against hold on and saturation. Um, one of the things with hold on and saturation is if they're mixing in their hands, the entire family can use this option if they just buy a bottle of hold on and a bottle of saturation and just mix it in their hands. Dad can use, and the boys can use straight hold on. Mom can mix it half and half and the girls with longer hair can mix two parts of saturation and have more of a glaze. So it's something that's very versatile. Um, adding constructor to any conditioner increases the protein ability of that conditioner. Specifically, one of our favorite blends is to add constructor to vibracolor conditioner because what that does is it enhances the color protection benefits of vibracolor of, of constructor, but it enhances the proteinizing and strengthening benefits of constructor or of vibracolor. So it creates a great option for color treated hair. Shine drops and hold on. Usually when we're adding shine drops or actives to hold on, it would be um, just a quarter of an ounce of shine drops to four and a half ounces of hold on, or even adding shine drops or hold on to a little bit of hold on right in the, in the bottle that the hold on comes in. Again, you could pour off some hold on into a liter in the salon and top off the bottle with shine drops or with hold on or with actives. Shine drops and actives will lighten the amount of hold that hold on gives, but the shine drops and hold on, the shine drops and actives will increase the amount of shine. Now, what's the difference between adding shine drops or adding saturation? Saturation adds moisture and flexibility and softness. Shine drops will increase the shine and will decrease the hold, but it won't make the, it won't add a softness or a moisturizing component or moisturizing ability. Number six is curl interrupted and actives. This one is so obvious because anytime you're working with over curly hair, curl interrupted is our best friend and actives is our best friend. Often we layer them in the hair, but if you mix them together, and I mix curl interrupted and actives in equal parts, um, mix that in your palm and you can create a great softer blow dry experience. It's very, very flexible very soft and super shiny. Um, for sculpting and for molding and modeling the hair, um, one of the favorites is texture cream, hold on, and gloss pomade. Usually it's about one part of texture cream, two parts of hold on, and then a little bit of gloss pomade. Shake that together, mix that together really, really well, and it becomes a moisturizing glaze. Because of the gloss pomade, the hold on doesn't fully set up and become fully firm, but because of the hold on, the texture cream doesn't create the um, crunchy texture, the, the feel that texture cream creates in the hair. It creates more of a gel-like uh, finish or a soft gel hold. Mousse volumizing foam and shine drops is a way of adding shine to um, mousse and decreasing the hold factor. It makes it very, very glossy and very shiny. Gloss pomade and, and hold on is a little different than shine drops and hold on. Gloss pomade and hold on uh, maintains the hold uh, gloss pomade doesn't soften the hold of hold on very much. It keeps the strength of hold on, but it increases the shine, increases the flexibility. And then the last one is power fix and hot shapes. If you're working with hot shapes in the hair as your flat iron tool, and you're not getting enough hold and you're not getting enough strength, then add some power fix to your hot shapes. Even if you're even if you're flat ironing the hair straight or curling the hair, anytime you don't feel like you're getting enough crispiness or enough hold mix power fix into the hot shapes and that will help you create a new and a different product. Again, blends create new products, products that perform differently, that act differently in the hair and do different things to uh, bring about change in the guest. So that brings today's webinar to a conclusion. I do wanna remind you about our next webinar. Our next webinar will be on August 12th. 
um, at 1 p.m. Central Time. Look for the invitations to come to you about a week in advance, and we'll uh, we'll make sure that they get out to you. Also, look in your email in the next little while, and we'll be getting you a copy of the link to the webinar. It'll be posted on YouTube later this afternoon, as well as a PDF of the product knowledge information that we discussed, so a printed version of the product knowledge information for styling, and and then a follow-up. So we're thank want to thank you for being with us today. It's been great to have you.